Now that you're familiar with the digital vary program modes, let's take a look at some advanced shooting settings and techniques. The first mode, Programmed Auto Mode, is shown with a P on the mode dial. The P stands for Program. In this mode, the camera will automatically adjust shutter speed and aperture for optimal exposure in most situations. This mode is recommended for snapshots and other situations when you want the camera to automatically select the shutter speed and aperture. This will allow you to emphasize either depth of field or motion in your shot. To operate in this mode, set the power switch to on and the mode dial to P. Press the shutter button halfway down to activate the viewfinder. Then rotate the command dial to scroll through the exposure options until you find the one you want. Rotate the dial to the right for large apertures that blur background details or fast shutter speeds that freeze motion. Rotate the command dial to the left for small apertures that increase depth of field or slow shutter speeds that blur motion. All of these combinations produce the same exposure. Press the shutter all the way down and take the picture. There are creative advantages to shooting in this mode over full auto mode that you'll get a better feel for as we get deeper into this DVD. Before we discuss the advanced shooting modes anymore, it's important to understand a little more about shutter speeds and ISO settings. The shutter speeds on your camera range from 60 to 1 4,000th, meaning the shutter opens from 60 seconds to 1 4,000th of a second. Choosing a correct shutter speed for the appropriate situation can help you add depth and creativity to your pictures if you use it correctly. Shutter speeds have a range of very fast to very slow. Let's talk about these speeds in depth for a moment. The most frequently used shutter speeds lie within the range of 1 500th to 1 60th of a second. This is a typical range used for everyday picture taking. Camera speeds slower than 1 60th will normally require a tripod to avoid blurring the entire picture. Faster shutter speeds are found in the range of 1 500th to 1 4000th. When the camera displays shutter speed with a seconds marker, this tells the user that it is a measurement of seconds. When no seconds marker is displayed, this is considered a measure of fractions of a second. For example, 8 with a seconds marker is 8 seconds. The number 8 without a seconds marker is an eighth of a second. You can view this information on the LCD panel and through the camera's viewfinder. Let's talk about how this range of shutter speeds can affect the type of picture you are taking. A fast shutter speed of 1 2,000th to 1 4,000th could be used to freeze the wings of a bee flying. A shutter speed of 1 500th to 1 1,000th would be ideal for freezing action at a sporting event. By selecting a moderate shutter speed of 1 125th to 1 500th, you would have an ideal speed for taking portraits of family or friends. If you'd like to slow things down and blur the action at a sporting event or slow down the waters of a waterfall, you'll need to slow the speed in the range of about 8 to 60. The slowest shutter speeds fall in the realm of 8 to 30 seconds. These shutter speeds will normally be used for shooting images at night. The ISO setting affects the imaging sensor's sensitivity to light. The higher the number, the less light that is required to properly expose the image sensor. You can either have the camera automatically choose the sensitivity, or you can set your own sensitivity range. Keep in mind that a higher ISO setting may introduce noise or grain into your images. An ISO setting that is too high for the shooting conditions will make the image lose quality. You might even start to see particles in your picture. Experiment with ISO settings to become more familiar with their range and control. The image sensor on your camera is very powerful. It gives you flexibility to shoot in low light conditions and still get amazing pictures. To adjust the ISO setting, press the menu button, enter the shooting menu, scroll to the ISO sensitivity sub-menu, and press OK to enter it. Then scroll to select the setting you want and press OK to select the ISO speed you would like to use.
The next advanced shooting mode setting is Shutter Priority Auto Mode, represented by an S on the dial. Use this mode to set the shutter speed yourself and let the camera calculate the aperture setting needed to make the proper exposure. This is very handy when you want to freeze or blur the motion. To use this setting, turn the mode dial to S and press the shutter halfway down. Turn the command dial to select from the range of shutter speeds. Press the shutter to take the picture. The next setting is the Aperture Priority Auto Mode. Use this setting when you want to control the aperture value yourself and have the camera calculate the shutter speed as necessary for proper exposure. This is useful when you want to create a long or short depth of field. Small apertures increase depth of field, bringing both the main subject and the background into focus. Large apertures soften background details. To use this setting, turn the mode dial to A and press the shutter halfway down. Turn the command dial to select the aperture setting you want. Press the shutter to take the picture. Use the manual mode when you want to control both shutter speed and aperture to set a proper exposure. Watch the exposure scale display in the viewfinder to control and monitor what your final exposure will be. In this mode, you have complete control over your camera's exposure. To use this setting, move the mode dial to M and press the shutter halfway down. Turn the command dial to select a shutter speed. Press the Exposure Compensation button while again turning the command dial to change the aperture. Move either the shutter speed or the aperture until the exposure scale indicates that you are on zero or dead center position. Press the shutter and take the picture. If the exposure scale indicator is on negative one or two, your exposure is one or two stops darker than expected for proper exposure. If the exposure scale is positive one or two, then your exposure is one or two stops lighter than expected for proper exposure. You cannot use exposure compensation or auto exposure lock when using the manual mode. More theory behind the manual mode will be covered in the next chapter.